Are you ready for food? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I was gonna set up the tripod and everything and do like a formal intro, but that's a little bit too much work. <laughs> In today's video, I'm actually gonna be feeding my pets, like all of my pets. <laughs> A lot of you guys have asked me to do this in the past. I don't think I've ever like sat down and introduced all of our pets to you. Um, you've seen a couple here and there in my videos, but overall, I don't think you guys know like exactly who my pets are, what kind of pets they are, what are their names, and all that stuff. So I thought I would do a feeding all my pets in one video, and it's kind of a process. We're only gonna do the evening feeding, so I hope you guys enjoy coming along. I'm excited for you guys to see all the animals, how much they've grown, and yeah, show you guys what we feed them. So stay tuned. This is. It's gonna be a mission <laughs> um, and yeah let's get on into it all right so we're gonna start off by feeding the horses first and we actually have eight horses in total <laughs> um, six of them are my boyfriends and two of them are mine but we actually have to make a quick trip to the feed store to buy some more hay so let's go ahead and do that first these bales and then we'll get to feeding one eternity later all right so all the hay is unloaded and we're gonna start the feeding process it's quite a long process because we have so many animals the first thing I usually do is call the cows over because they kind of hang out around the property and graze all day so at night they go into their little paddock so the first thing I usually do every evening is go ahead and call them and it's kind of annoying the dogs are going crazy right here I don't know if you can hear it so just cover your ears if you can't take how annoying it is because it's it is so I always make sure to have treats on hand so that they learn to always come. Yeah, they always get treats once they come and we turn them in the little paddock. I use this as motivation. <laughs> come on. Good girls. Good girls. All right, so now the girls are in their little paddock and now I'm gonna bring in the two horses, Crystal and Brandy. During the day, I let them go out to this other paddock which has a lot more grass, so we're gonna call them in next. So now that everyone's where they're supposed to be, we're gonna get to the actual feeding part, right? <laughs> By the way, you guys probably already know this, but this is Brandy and this is Crystal. So I usually feed them a big 500 pound block of hay, but I kind of change it, like whenever this block is over, I switch back to bales. And I'll actually insert a picture of the block that I'm talking about. That's like my favorite thing to feed, but at the same time I like to mix it around so it's not always the block. So for today, I am feeding them an alfalfa bale. This is called alfalfa, it's like a type of hay. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's really green and smells really good. <laughs> I usually feed them one pad each. In this case, these pads are pretty thick, so one pad is enough, but usually if it's too thin, then I'll add another. Normally, I would carry this to the... Did I catch that on camera? Feeding time is crazy around here, okay? She just jumped the wheelbarrow. Delilah, what the heck? Anyway, as I was saying, I usually carry the pads over to their feeding bins, but because of my wrist, I just kind of use a wheelbarrow now. I usually 
they throw their hay in this little bucket and that actually used to be like a supplement bin. They you just put it in their pasture and they lick it till it's over. But it's worked great for Crystal because she actually spills a lot of her food and because it's so big, the bucket catches the food that she spills so it's not that much of a mess and not that much waste. So yeah, I just ended up throwing it in the buckets. and we usually feed them coastal and we actually keep it out here so that if they're grazing and they want some coastal they can walk over and have some so that's why the bale looks destroyed in the evening though I do put it in a hay net for them just so I can bring it into the paddock and they don't waste as much before I switch them over to a different kind of cow feed. I think it's for like older cows. They're graduating from this feed bag. <laughs> and I usually give them about half a scoop each. All right, let's go do this. All right, so I always give Crystal her grain first so she doesn't bother the cows. <laughs> it's crazy in here when there's grain involved. And I just throw the grain on top of the hay. This. Now it's turn for the cows to get their grain and you guys this is like a marathon like I don't even know how to explain this It's crazy I have to run it and drop it and get out of there as fast as I can because we're still working on manners By the way, I haven't even introduced them to you if you guys have been watching my channel for a while You already know this little girl right here is Delilah and this one's P Penelope They're little Holstein cows. We actually got them when they were babies I had to bottle feed them if you guys want to watch that video I'll leave a link down below where I kind of showed you guys how I make their milk But now they're over that they don't get milk anymore they're huge, they graze like real cows now. Um, and yeah, this is what I usually feed them. So let's go ahead and do this because it's, it's crazy. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> so now I just fill their water bucket. So the horses actually have an automatic waterer that's inside the stall, so they have access to it all the time. The cows are still a little bit short, so they don't reach it, so that's why I have to fill their own little water bucket out here. But yeah. All right, so now we're officially done with the cows and the horses on this side. Next, we're moving on to the chickens. Well, this is their chicken run. It's not done. It still needs a lot of work, but they kind of spend the day out here. So before I even get to feeding them, I have to move them back into their chicken coop. Hey guys! Hi! So really quick before I feed them, I actually wanted to show you guys who's who. I don't know if you guys know this. I have four hens, a rooster, and a duck. So in total, we have five chickens and a duck. Am I counting that? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, okay. Five chickens and a duck. This is Mel. She is like my, I was gonna say favorite, but we don't have favorites here, but I have a special bond with her, okay? She's a survivor. I'll tell you guys her story later. But yeah, this is Mel. She always likes to be on me. I guess not right now. Oh, okay, I guess she does want to be on me. But she's always jumping on, jumping off, jumping on, jumping off. She loves cuddles, she loves when I pet her. But yeah, this is basically it. Now, let me tell you their names. This is Mel. Um, this guy over here is Big Bird. He's our little silky rooster. Mel's a sex link. This is Dottie, Coco, Dougie over there, the duck, <laughs> and Betty all the way back there. So yeah, these are our chickens. <laughs> They're super cute, I love them, I love my chickens. Dougie's the only duck, he takes care of everybody, but Mel's his best friend. So yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and put them in their coop. Woo! Come on, inside, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Sometimes I have to climb in there so they follow me, sometimes they come by themselves. It just depends on how they're feeling that day. So I guess today's one of those days. Come on, chicken! Come on, chicken! sneak out really quick before they get a chance to come back out. <laughs> now it's feeding time. Okay, excuse the mess. We're still like working on this <laughs> shed. So for the chickens, I actually feed them um, chicken layer. Chicken layer feed, their bag is right here. Layer crumbles. This is 
is from the Brand Country Road. I keep it in this little tub. And this is actually an old paint can that I kind of use as a bucket. <laughs> So this is actually the front of the chicken coop. We just came from the side. Let's go ahead and feed the chickens. Hi chickens! So I'm actually doing a complete remodel in here. I have to strip it, clean it, like I'm building new stuff. So if you guys want to see me do that, if, you, if I should make a video about it, leave me a comment down below and I'll definitely do that. This is like an automatic feeder, like it's there all the time. They have food available for them all the time. I usually shake it to get like any dirty feed out of the way. I actually top off their water as well and again they have like an automatic waterer it's just available to them all the time so I just like to keep that foil no 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 we almost had an escape art Mel how the heck did you get out what the heck I didn't even notice chickens are done next up all the other horses all right so over here in this paddock we have Ziggy and Dixie and we actually keep their hay right here in the horse trailer so we don't have to walk as far and again because we don't actually ride them that often and they're turned out with grass they just get one pad of alfalfa each and I have to go one at a time you know because my wrist but we got this. Next up is Gucci and Rain, and Gucci's usually in this pasture with Rain, but just so she can help us eat the grass, you know, our personal lawnmowers, <laughs> we turned her out here by herself. And for water, they have their own little automatic waterer right here that just fills up every time they drink it. So it's there 24 seven. So I forgot to bring my wheelbarrow. So I'm gonna try my best to carry this all the way over to the boys cause they're next, Yankee and Dooley. So this is Dooley. There you go. And this is the Yankee boy. There you go. Okay, that was a workout. <laughs> and the boys usually get this Buckeye Grow and Win. It's like a little supplement. Well, actually it's like a grain, but we feed it like a supplement so they don't get too much since they're not like an active work at the moment. So we keep this in here. Holy boy. Finally, I just have to fill their water and then we're moving on to the inside pets. inside and now it's time to feed the boys you guys have probably seen them running around this video so far we're actually gonna be feeding my dogs Nike and Levi usually in the evening I'll actually feed them right before I go to bed just because at the end of the day when I feed all of the horses and the cows and the chickens everyone outside they're usually with me which means they're running around like crazy playing and I don't like to feed them like right after they've been playing for a while just because they're always out of breath and I like for them to like calm down and then eat just because I don't know I feel like it wouldn't be safe if they're like breathing hard and then to like gobble down food you know what I mean look at this look at this <laughs> did you have fun outside did you have fun you guys they're always like this after hours outside they still don't get tired I don't know how they do it <laughs> they spend all day playing together and they just never get tired eventually all right so it's been a little while and the boys have started to mellow out <laughs> all right guys <laughs> this is Levi and Nike are you ready for food? Okay, don't start again, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
You know what? I better feed them before they get too crazy again. So what I usually feed the dogs is science diet, large breed adult. But I recently just changed them to Rachel Ray large breed. And they really seem to like it. This is their first bag so far. So I'll kind of have like an official opinion afterwards. Here it is. This is what we feed the boys. And I actually pour it into this bin. This is a pet food dispenser. This is just where I pour all their food every time. So I'm going to go ahead and feed them. I have a little cup in here. Nike gets his. And Levi <laughs> gets his. And there you go. Good boys. Is that yummy? Yeah, is that so delicious? Levi, is that delicious? And actually what's funny is I give them their water in a horse bucket. Well, this is not really a horse bucket. It's just a bucket instead of having a bowl. Just because I found that with the both of them, I have to refill it too often. So I just figured having a big bucket and filling it to the top is what's worked best for them. That way I don't have to refill it like every hour. But yeah. That is it, I guess. Those are all the animals. Everyone is fed and ready for bed. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed coming along. This is a really cool video because not only did you get to see what I feed, but you actually got to like meet all the animals again if you didn't know who they were. Let me know who was your favorite out of all the ponies, cows, chickens, and pups. Who was your favorite? Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you're new to my channel, what's up? My name is Cindy Valentina. Please don't forget to subscribe. Here's my notification shout out. Thank you guys so much for commenting. If you guys want to be shouted out in my next video, all you have to do is just click that notification bell and then leave me a comment down below letting me know that you've done it. And that's it. You might be shouted out in my next video. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.